Now to begin using placement and size to create more of a realistic effect in my landscape. So I want to have a mountain range somewhere in the background. So I want a little bit of contrast here. So I'm going to use a different color. So I'm going to go with black, but at first can't really get many different effects if I just make it straight solid black. So I'm going to try to go for like a dark gray or even a medium gray kind of look to it. So there's one of my mountains. Looks pretty small, but we know it's in the background, so that would make it seem smaller. I'm going to pull my brush strokes down to overlap that one because the mountain would go up and down. And maybe I have another one kind of behind it here. So I might do two of these. You might do three or four. You might even do big hills instead of mountains using your same ground color. So I'm going to pull that down. I don't like that effect down there, so I'm going to use my brush to fix that and smooth that out. So here I've used placement because I placed the mountains up high. I use size because they're small, plus I use overlap. One is covering up another one. What I want to do now is get more of a realistic effect in there by blending my colors like we've been doing. We did that on the ground, we did that on the sky. I think it looks pretty good. It would probably look good to do that to the mountains. So I'm going to put more black along here. And I can even create some lines that would give me some texture, but I'm not going to pull it all the way down to the bottom. That's where I want to blend it to. So here, and then this one would seem darker because the other mountain would put a shadow on it. All right, so then I'm going to clean out my brush, squeeze out the extra water. Too much water means you're going to lose control of everything you want your paint to do for you. So then I'm pulling this down, fading that black away into the color of the mountain. So I get more of a 3D effect and the lines there sort of give me that texture I'm looking for on the rock of the mountain. All right. So you want to think about other things that could go into your mountainscape. Like we're definitely not going to put a lot of trees in here. What would be in the desert that would make it seem even more realistic?